Right, I promise this one's going to be a quick one. Looks like a bird flew over and shat all over my water solders. So that's not going to cut it, so I'm going to rip that bus bar off and redo it. Um, that's using a 60 watt soldering iron. Hey, it's Dick Smith, they've gone out of business, that's why it doesn't work. Um, yeah, so that's not working, it's nowhere near neat enough for my, for my liking. Um, that just looks crap. But in other news, I've got a whole heap of cells here. And the pile was much larger. Now, these cells that I bought, I bought off Gumtree or something, 50 bucks or something for 25, 20, 20. Anyways, most of the cells have been completely flat. Now, I don't think they have been abused completely flat. I just think they're completely flat because they've been sitting for ever. There are a couple that I can't recover. But what I've done is, where is it? There it is there. Got a couple of bits of copper. And just soldered that in parallel. So I get the completely faulty battery. Positive end up. Slot. Something just finished. That one just finished. See how the voltage is going up? But the amp hours are staying the same, so that one's finished. Anyways, so all I do is put that in there for three minutes. It balances out the voltage. That's at three, that cell there is at 3.99 volts. It puts it into there. It'll, it'll bring that up to about two and a half volts in two and a half minutes. And then I can throw it in there and it all, all works. And every cell that I've been testing have been over 1900 milliamp hours. So it does actually work. But that's only for non-abused cells. Not If you had an abused cell, it's never going to work. It's just one if they're completely dead. Anyway, that's a short one. I'll catch you later.